everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we will learn how to make chocolate lollipops. Well, actually there is nothing to it because we're not making the chocolate. We're just going to melt it. And look what I bought. A Betty Crocker Mini Warmer Chocolatier, I believe they call it. Yes, a chocolatier. Actually, you can use it for cheeses, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, dip some strawberries in it. But tonight we're going to melt some milk chocolate chips and make some little lollipops. I just made a batch already. So here's some different animals. A little lion, a monkey. I'm making this for the grandkids. So I'm going to wipe this up just a little bit before we get started. And of course, I wanted to make one for myself. So I have five grandkids. This makes six lollipops. In order to make six lollipops, we're going to need about a cup and a half of milk chocolate chips. And that's about the maximum my little warmer here is going to hold. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the warmer. I'll cover it up with a little baby lid. <laughs> so cute. And it does a great job. Usually, when I melt chocolate, I put a, like a tablespoon of uh, shortening in it so the microwave will melt it. But if I don't do that, the microwave actually kind of dries it out and burns it. Not this puppy right here. This does a fantastic job. So let's get the molds ready. What we're going to want to do is put our little sticks in there first. So that way when we pour the chocolate on top, the stick is under the chocolate. Put them down in there nice and tight. And you're going to want to fill these up pretty full there again so the chocolate is over the stick. These little molds work out perfect. So they're in where they're supposed to be. What I also have is white chocolate chips that I'm going to melt if I want to do a little drizzling. Now I'm not sure I want to do that on the animals, but I might do just a little bit and then put some sprinkles on top. Maybe I need to buy some different molds. I got the molds on Amazon. I got the little baggies and everything that came with the molds. Also, uh, what else came did I get? The little Betty Crocker warmer. I got that on Amazon. You could probably get it on Walmart. I usually uh, compare pricing on both websites to make sure. Uh, sometimes Walmart has better pricing. Sometimes Amazon does. So you could check it out. I don't know. You could probably find some different brands at the local stores, whatever you want to do there. Uh, this cost about $20. And I think my molds with the sticks was about eight or nine. If you don't have a pastry bag, you could probably use just a regular baggie, sandwich bag or something. Just snip out the end of it. You can buy all kinds of gadgets. Uh, the pastry bags I bought online and then uh, little attachments. These work out great. All right, it's time to fill the molds, okay? My chocolate is melted. I'm going to fill my pastry bag. Okay, so you want to be careful that it doesn't squeeze out of the top like mine did. And then we're going to spread it around. I'm going to try to get six out of this. We'll just adjust the chocolate in each of these. Some I might have to take a little bit out. Doug, are you fascinated by my handiwork here? Sure am. <laughs> See, those turned out yeah, pretty they, good. Yeah, they look really good. The finished product looks good. <laughs> First I'm going to use a knife to spread it a little bit. Then I'm going to shake it around. Try to get it all into the little pockets here. Might have to, uh, what's the saying? Rob Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> Take a little bit out of that one. Flatten it out. And off to the fridge it goes for at least an hour, probably two hours. See you soon. Mine have only been in the refrigerator for about an hour, but you guys know me. I'm impatient. So I'm gonna try to pop it out of the mold. See if I filled it properly. This is my first test run. Oh, a little froggy. A little teddy bear. A little elephant. 
What is that? It's not a rhinoceros. Is it a... Can you guys tell me what it is? <laughs> I don't have the slightest idea. A lion and a monkey. So the sticks held up pretty good. So if you want to decorate at this point, would be a great time to decorate. So let's just put one in a little bag. There you go. Just put them in the bag. Twist time shut. You got a little treat. Milk chocolate on a stick in the shape of an animal. So I hope you enjoy your chocolate lollipops. Buy a bunch of different molds, which I'm going to, and just have fun with it. So thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights, and I hope you have a fabulous week, everyone. See you soon.